Hey, it's Richard from Amber Works. I want to talk a little bit today about overeating and why you overeat. Okay, that's a big source of um, being overweight. Some of the reasons why you can't drop that weight, stuff like that, because you don't really realize how many how many calories you're actually absorbing in your body. Okay, there's, there's a few things that happen. Uh, one thing is just not a habit. Okay, I mean habit is kind of learned eating behavior. You may eat because your mom told you you got to clean your plate. Things like that, you just kind of, you got to have those three meals a day or five meals a day. You got to have your snacks and you just kind of do it. That's one thing. Another thing, kind of on the same level, in a sense, is absent-minded, kind of mindless eating. You're sitting in front of the TV, you're watching a movie, you're snarfing a whole bag of chips or something like that. You don't realize how much you're actually putting in. Next thing you know, you're in the bottom of the bag and there's nothing left. Okay, so that kind of stuff happens too. And sometimes it's even deeper than that. Sometimes it's to alter your mood. You know, to trigger those pleasure centers in the brain that food can do, sugars and things like that. So you eat that, or you're out just at a party, you're doing things like that, and it's it kind of, like I said, alters your mood, and that really helps you, which is great temporarily, but the big effect is on your body, and it's those additional calories and everything else you put in your body that really affects what's going on, okay? So there's probably three, three steps that are best to help you change these habits, okay? One is paying attention. Okay, really being aware of how much you eat. You know, looking at your food saying, do I need this much? You know, um, is two pieces of toast enough? Um, is one piece enough? Is two, is two too many? Who knows, okay? But you gotta, you gotta look at it and say, okay, what do I really need to eat? Instead of just it being habitual. Another thing is gonna be about just practicing balance. You know, what you have, like really having a diverse plate of food. Don't just load up one type of food eat all that, eat that continually, never alter your food. You want to alter your food, get in your vegetables, get in your proteins, um, your, your complex carbohydrates, things like that. You want to get all that stuff in a balanced meal. So you want to balance out exactly what you're eating. That helps a ton. And the other one is really being just tuned in. You got to listen to your body. Your body knows when it's full. You got to give it time to realize that. You got to listen to that. You got to, you got to drink water instead of eating food first because a lot of times you confuse hunger with thirst. So you can do something as simple as just drinking water um, and then kind of seeing how your body reacts to that. And if you're a workout person, which a lot of you are, eat for performance. Understand what that does to your workout and how you perform. When you start paying attention to your body, you start realizing what that food you ate that day, what effect it has on your workout. And I go through the same thing. I'll eat the wrong stuff by accident or not really thinking that hit a workout a couple hours later and it's not so good. Okay. I know exactly what the problem was and I'm not hitting what I should be in my workouts. It's because of what I ate. So again, pay attention, practice the balance, and really be in tune with your body. Those are three things that help curb the whole overeating issues if you run into those. Okay. Again, a lot of people have this. It's a big deal. Calories add up quickly. We, all, we always teach about calories aren't important about counting calories per se, but at the same time, boy, they add up fast. Okay. So you got kind of a uh, a catch 22 there, but it's about volume. Okay, it's really about what's on your plate and how much. So take that stuff into advice. Think about that stuff. Put that stuff into practice. It's going to help you uh, either in your weight loss goals or your weight maintenance goals. Those are really good too. So think about that. And thanks for tuning in. If you found this helpful, share this. Uh, you know, subscribe to our YouTube page and everything else. But definitely share it on your pages. Let everyone else know. Maybe this will help someone as well.